guys, Chris here from Personal Survival Tactics, and today we're talking about combative kicking. And we're going to cover shin kicks. Okay, shin kicks and break kick. Uh, if you're in the combative world, um, it's definitely probably in your curriculum. Okay, it's been in there a long time. Uh, I've been doing combative since the uh, mid 90s, and uh, different organizations I belong to, it's been in everybody's, every organization's curriculum. Okay, and I think it's a very versatile kick. Um, I've seen it thrown in a couple different ways. Uh, we'll talk about that today a little bit and what I prefer. And uh, it's one of those kicks where I feel, you know, if you can get in and out of the car, you can do a shin kick. And so it's something that I think a lot of people can do, even if you have some possible medical issues. Okay. So anyway, shin kicks, what we're going to do by my assistant, come on in. How we can use a shin kick, uh, we could use it defense into an offense or just strictly offensive. Okay. So what I mean by that, let's say we got a guy and uh, the guy's animated, he's ready to go, he's ready to rock and roll, he's, he's, he's coming in with a punch. And let's say he's coming in with a jab punch, boom, and I can parry that punch. Again, of course, I'm gonna move the target, which is me. And when I parry it, I can time it with that shin kick and give him something to think about. Okay, he's coming in with that lead hand parry. Now, let's see, just move back a second. If he's coming in with a, a rear hand punch, same thing. I, I, you know, I don't know what he's coming in. All I just know is he's coming in. So he shoots that rear hand punch, boom, I parry it, and I also come in with that kick. And again, shin kick doesn't mean it can, it can be to the shin, boom, if, I'm, if I can get my leg up high enough, it could be to the kneecap, okay? It could be the lower shin, boom, okay? Uh, the way I like to throw a shin kick is I like to throw it so that I'm getting um, compressive force on my knee, that I'm not swinging it this way, but I'm striking on a downward angle. So when I strike, Wham! Coming in this way. I think it's a lot better for your knee. I've done it both ways. And when you swing it, and you swing and you strike this way, it puts a lot of shearing force on the knee. And I feel like if you do that enough, uh, you can actually potentially develop an injury. If you have any, and already either had an injury or recovered from injury, um, or maybe you have something going on and you don't even realize, it can either uh, make the injury worse or create an injury. I, I don't recommend swinging shin kick or swinging your leg to get the shin kick off, but the compressive one where you're thrusting your leg down, you're bringing it up, wham, driving down with that kick okay, into his shin or into his knee. Okay? Um, and if you're really good, you know, I mean, you could bring it up and now you go into a style of, now it, you know, it kind of it, it takes it away. It's not really a shin kick at that point. Um, and I, I don't recommend that unless you're really skilled. But for the average person uh, who puts in average amount of training time, I'd go lower going into the shin bone. Okay. Now we can use, like I said, we can use it defensively. We can use it offensively. You guys throwing punches, boom! I use the defensive block, move out of the way of punches, boom! And I'm throwing that shin kick. Even if you threw a roundhouse punch haymaker, boom! And covered up, boom! I can throw that shin kick in there. Where I'm covering, he comes in, boom! And wham! Throwing it inside. Okay. But well, let's say the guy's charging him, the guy's coming in aggressively, he can't escape, I can't talk my way out of it, and I have to do something. I can use it offensively, right? It's go time. So I can use it that way. This guy can boom, and I just throw it out there. Once I throw it out there, I want to move offline. So let's say the guy's just move back to step here. Let's say the guy's coming in, I throw it, boom, I'm gonna move offline now. I gave him something to think about, and now I can start taking other targets, whatever that may be, and whatever my follow-up may be, okay? All right, guys, so that's a little bit on the shin kicks. Um, if you like this video, if you like our videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. That way we can put out more content. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, this is Chris from Personal Survival Tactics. Stay safe.